Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to reset the VBT learned values on newer Subarus. Now, this is covered under Service Bulletin 02-163-16R, and we're going to cover some of the stuff in the bulletin, but not all of it. The codes that we are doing the reset for is the P0016, 17, 18, and 19, and those are camshaft position correlations for each of the camshafts. There's four camshafts on these motors. Some of them, only two of them are monitored. Other ones, all four of them are monitored. So depending on which vehicle you have, you may have any one of these four codes. Now this normally comes up after a repair has been made and you still have the code. The service bulletin says basically if you have this code and the learned value is above whatever the maximum is in the table that they give in the bulletin, that you need to replace the ECM until we found a way to reset it with an aftermarket scan tool. Now this method will work on almost all the Subarus in the bulletin except for the Subaru BRZ. That one has a different ECM. Um, it's shared with the Toyota FRS and we do not have a aftermarket scan tool method of resetting those. You can reset those with some more expensive coding tools but we're not gonna cover that in this video. Now, before resetting these, I did read the values with the factory scan tool just to show you guys the factory scan tool and what it looks like, but you can read these with the aftermarket scan tools. You'll find this information just under data. But here we have the VVT initial position learning value one and two, that's for the intake, and then one and two for the exhaust. Our intakes are real close to 80. Our exhaust is around 110. This one's a little low, but they're all within, within the normal operating range for this vehicle. And what we're gonna do is we're going to reset them. They're gonna go back to zero. It takes about a mile long test drive on some of these vehicles for these numbers to repopulate, but that's okay. Because if you're out of range, sometimes these numbers will not self adjust back into the normal range. You'll have a permanent code. The Subaru Service Bulletin says to replace the ECM. So to get around that, we're gonna use an aftermarket tool we're going to clear the values and let them relearn. Today we're gonna to be using the Launch Torque Link to reset these values. All of the launch tools, the top down tools, and the Think Car or Think Diag tools are gonna to be very similar, although the layout of the screen may be a little bit different. So I have the vehicle pulled up on the scan tool. Now, since my last update, I do have to select my region here. So North America 2020 Subaru Legacy Outback. We'll start communicating with it. I go to the ECM, which on the launch tool is EGI. In the underhood fuse panel, there is a fuse location. There's normally a fuse installed here or they install it at the dealer for testing the cooling fans and everything else. Um, a lot of times they come with pre-installed and then the technician after they do their pre-delivery inspection will remove this fuse and put it in a spare slot. So we are going to install a fuse. Now the value doesn't really matter. We're just basically telling the computer to enter test mode. Now on this particular vehicle, there's some white paint on that fuse location. Most vehicles do have that, um, but some of them don't. And depending on the year, this location is in different places around the fuse block. So we're gonna go to special functions, test mode change, hit okay. Transition to check mode has been completed. We can see that the check engine light and theft light are flashing on the dash. That means that we have entered test mode. We need to go back. We need to clear fault memory. Now, this is going to say that it failed and that's just because there was no fault codes to clear, but it should clear the learned values either way. Let's go back to our data stream and see if those values have cleared. So you can scroll down to it or you can just enter a search term up in the keyword box at the top right. I'm just going to enter learn. I'm 
We'll select the intake and exhaust learning values, hit OK. And they are all zero. So even though it said that it failed to clear the codes, it did reset the learned values. If for some reason your learned values did not clear, I would try turning the key off after clearing the codes and let it sit for about a minute, turn the key back on, and then check the data stream and see if they cleared. And then when you're done, don't forget to remove that fuse underneath the hood. So now we're just gonna check those positions with the factory scan tool again, just to show you that it's not an aftermarket tool trick. The factory scan tool does indeed show that our values have been reset. They are all reset to zero. They will take about a mile test drive on some vehicles to repopulate. Some will repopulate just by starting them, letting them run for 30 or 40 seconds. But this particular one takes about a mile long test drive to reset. Okay, after one mile of driving, the numbers did populate. Our numbers are slightly different than before, so it didn't just repopulate with the same numbers. But this does prove that we can reset those numbers using an aftermarket scan tool. We do not have to replace the ECM. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, put those down below. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe, click the bell. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.